Emily, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. This is one of the most interesting and complicated books I've ever read about this subject. <laughs> okay. No, because when I, when I read it, I think a lot of people, you know, fell in love with your writing. It was for, um, was it New York Magazine? Yeah. Right, and mm -hmm. it was an interesting take on a subject that we thought we knew everything about, you know? What does it mean to be a model? If you're a model, then it means you feel a certain way about your body, you love mm -hmm. everything about the industry, but from the book and from everything you've written, it seems like it's really complicated, no? It's really complicated, um, not just about the industry, but I think for women in general. Um, there's a sort of negotiation you do with how you want to represent your body in the world as a woman every day. Um, and I think that's sort of what I'm interested in. Obviously, my experience as a model, um, which is an industry built on the way you look, is very specific. But I think every woman can relate to the experience of getting dressed and knowing, you know, sort of the negotiation of how tight do I want my shirt to be? How you know, much do I want to cover up? And how am I going to use my sexuality to my advantage or, or not? I think that's one of the, the most uh, intriguing parts of the book, uh, you know, and I hope, I hope a lot of men read it as well because some might think, oh, okay, it's my body, this is a lady's book, and it, but, but it's really just a book from a woman's perspective on, and, and I, I like how you say it in the book, I'll paraphrase it, the lenses through which your body is seen through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you the know? mirrors, the many mirrors. The many yeah. mirrors. That... No, I definitely hope a lot of men um, read it, and I was really happy when the, the New York Magazine piece came out, which was taken from the book proposal, um, how many men read it and connected to it. So. so let's talk about the journey of being a model. I mean, everyone goes, if you're a model, it means you want men to stay at your body, mm -hmm. right? That, that's, that's the assumption. Someone might say, well, Emily, how can you ever say that there shouldn't be a commodification of the body? if you yourself make money from a body that is shown in a certain way. How do you explain that to somebody? How do you, how do you even get into those conversations with yeah. something that is so nuanced and it's almost a paradox? Um, well, I mean, I think I'm criticizing capitalism ultimately. Um, and I'm not saying that women's bodies shouldn't be commodified. I think that it's just the system that we work within. Um, and I would never fault a young woman for trying to capitalize off of her body or her image. I think that, you know, there's, I'm here talking to you right now about my book. There's undeniable power that can come with that. Oh, yeah. For a long time, I believed that that was just empowerment and that was just feminism. And it's more complicated than that. Um, and that's what I'm exploring in this book. I don't think that there's answers to, you know, this is, uh, this is positive, this is negative. It's more complicated. How do you think you will know when you found it? Like, when will Emily say, you know what, this is it. I've completely claimed myself. Mm -hmm. I've owned my image. I've owned my likeness. What do you think that means for you? I mean, control is a huge factor. Um, and I think that, you know, empowerment is a word that just gets thrown around so much right. um, that I feel like I don't even know what it means totally anymore um, because power is such a complicated thing. I mean, is empowerment a feeling or is it, you know, the resources that you gain from, you know, financial success or influence? Um, but I will say that the, the closest I've ever come to kind of really understanding that word is through writing this book. Um, not sort of through modeling. That hasn't felt like the place where I've had the most control. Um, but being able to write these, to create something really, just in general, um, is incredibly empowering. I think a lot of people will be particularly interested in um, your essay about blurred lines. Mm. You know, that, as you say, was your big break. This was mm -hmm. the moment where you're in the Robin Thicke video, and everyone was like, who's that girl? This yeah. is amazing. This is the moment. And for a long time, you know, it felt like your relationship with the video was a positive one. It was mm -hmm. like you saying, yes, this is me celebrating my empowerment. Mm -hmm. I'm doing what I want to do. Over the years, it feels like you have taken a different stance to it, or, or your, your views on it have evolved in terms of what you should or shouldn't have done. Talk, talk me through that and, and like, what do you think you would have changed or what do you hope would change going forward in that mm -hmm. type of situation? Because I'm assuming you don't want to live in a world where you say to women, oh, don't be naked if you want to be naked. No. But at the yeah. same time, what you're saying is be careful of how or when or who decides when you're naked. I don't naked. even know if that's what I'm saying. I mean, I think that it's more, um, you know, we're now having a conversation around OnlyFans, and I think it's actually a really great parallel to my experience mm -hmm. on the board line set where you have this moment where women are saying, okay, revenge porn exists. Right. I know that there's this way, you know, that I can lose control over images of my body, personal images. Let me try to find a way where I can benefit from this. Right. Um, that being said, what we watched with OnlyFans was, you know, some Somebody decided, um, probably mostly men, said we want to clean up this brand and all of a sudden all these women didn't have access to making money so right. they were actually the ones in power. Um, and I think that my essay about blurred lines is really more not about what women should do but about how to be, or 
how we can be aware of the power dynamics that are at play. So in that example, um, when I was 21, you know, I was talking about that video and I felt pretty defiant. I was like, I felt great. I was right. surrounded by women compared to other jobs that I was doing at the time where I was essentially a mannequin. It was like front of the shirt, side of the shirt, back of the shirt. I was having a great time. People asked me how I felt. Um, I had fun. But ultimately, when somebody crossed a line or something inappropriate happened, we weren't in a place of a position of power to, to, to say anything mm. because we were on the clock. Um, and you know, Robin Thicke was, it was his music video. Um, so as much as I, you know, felt like I was being, being powerful and it was my choice, that wasn't just, it wasn't just that simple. And that's the reality that I want to talk about. So, so when you look at that, you know, one of the things I struggle with is trying to figure out how we process time and our opinions on what we experienced or how we viewed things through the lens of time. Yeah. When you look at somebody like Robin Thicke for that video mm -hmm. specifically, where do you think more responsibility could have been? What do you think could have been different from his side? Or do you think he should also be afforded an opportunity to say, oh, I thought everyone was having fun and now I would do things differently? I think that I'm really not interested in blaming individuals. Uh -huh. I think that we live in a culture that allows a lot of these situations to occur, um, even just on, not in professional settings, but on dates. Um, and that's, again, not to beat the, the horse, um, but, you know, power dynamics, that's what I'm interested in talking about and really revealing, um, because I think that, you know, in some ways, uh, maybe that was like an, an attempt at lev leveling the power for him. Right, um, right. And I think we need to look at, you know, how this culture is bad for both men and women. Mm. I love it. Um, congratulations on the book. Thank you. Congratulations on a healthy little baby and uh, congratulations so on me. being back on the catwalk. <laughs> Thank you. My Body, the book, is available now wherever books are sold.